Hi, welcome to the Retirement Railroad <coughs> and matinee modeling tip of the day. Uh, still having problems with sound out at my uh, workbench, so uh, we're doing some creative editing here and, and uh, got uh, uh, a couple tips. You know, two days ago I started uh, with three locomotives that needed work uh, on the workbench. And, you know, uh, we fixed uh, two of them so far, both uh, E8s. Um, 49s and uh, uh, both successfully and I got to the workbench today and guess what there's still three more locomotives there <laughs> uh, here we go we got uh, uh, a switcher an SW 1500 down there in the lower portion lower part we've got a, a E89 shell and uh, an SD45. We're gonna, here's the E89, that's the model from hell, the model power. It took me three uh, uh, locomotives to build one that works. Uh, what I'm gonna do tomorrow is take uh, what's left of uh, the other two and uh, salvage them for parts. I'll show you how we're, we're gonna do that and what parts I'm gonna save. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, then we go on to uh, uh, an Anthem Blue Box SD45. That was the first uh, conversion that uh, I had from DC to DCC, and, and uh, it's it's very crowded in that shell, and it, it's binding on the, the drive, the wires, and, and the uh, the coder are binding on the uh, drive train. So uh, I'm going to redo that as well. All right, finally, we got the down here the uh, SW1500. And the issue with it is uh, I had a uh, Southern Pacific cow and calf uh, that uh, I don't model Southern Pacific, but I, I was able to find a Burlington CB and Q shell uh, on eBay. So I purchased the shell and took the uh, powered uh, unit out of the uh, cow and put my uh, uh, Burlington uh, shell on it. Uh, so I had to put new couplers on uh, and refurbish it because the power unit of the cow was circa 1970-ish, uh, 80 at the earliest, so it's a, a minimally 40 years old. So I had to put new couplers on it and uh, decoder in it, etc. Well, what I noticed was the couplers weren't working right. So I uh, brought it down and I noticed that the springs on the, uh, I had already refurbished, put Katie couplers on, uh, but the couplers I put on, either the ones I put on or sometime after I put them on, the little tiny spring on the knuckle couplers uh, were gone both on the front and the back. Uh, and here I am trying to show what that is, but it's not going to show. But they're tiny, tiny little springs. Uh, and a lot of people say how hard they are to work with and adjust. Well, they're not really all that bad. Okay? And uh, you can see there... Yeah, the little spring that I'm pointing at right there is, is, uh, was missing. Okay, well, how do you put something that small back on? The way I do it, and it's fairly simple, is I use my X-Acto knife. And if you look there, I just use the tip of the X-Acto knife, and I get it in the spring towards one end. That allows me to take and compress that spring on one of the pins on one side of that knuckle coupler and then slowly twist it and get the other side caught on the opposite pin. Then I slide my blade out and the spring is uh, right in place. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not a good enough videographer to be able to show you how to do that. 
but the, the hardest part of it is getting the spring onto the tip of that blade. And it's not all that hard, you just gotta, you gotta look at it. All right? And here I am kind of trying to show putting it on that pin. So I get it all done <laughs> and uh, put them back on the uh, switcher and the knuckle's working, but the couplers themselves aren't centering. So I pull them back off <laughs> and I notice, all right, and you're probably not going to be able to see it in these. Uh, those are two different uh, KD couplers. One has whiskers and one doesn't. I had put couplers back in to the switcher that did not have the centering whiskers. They're n the number fives, but the number fives require a little metal spring insert into the coupler box. Okay? And without that, the couplers themselves will not center. So take them out again and put the whisker uh, style couplers back in the box and uh, works perfectly now. So it takes a worthless uh, engine and uh, made it uh, whole again, so to speak. Again, not a very hard process to do. Uh, you know, maybe the first one getting that knife into that spring uh, can be tough, but overall it's not, not that hard a job. Anyway, that's your tip for the day. Use an X-Acto knife in those tiny springs and uh, uh, they'll pop right into place on those knuckle couplers. So, I'm Steve. Well, thank you for watching here at the uh, Retirement Railroad. Uh, the uh, matinee model tip of the day. Bye now.